I'm going to explain to you in this video five very important skin warning signs of insulin resistance that you absolutely should be aware of. Now, insulin resistance is a true pandemic. The world has never seen anything like it. You name the condition from high blood pressure, high cholesterol, heart disease, prediabetes, type 2 diabetes, other inflammatory disorders all have a very strong association with insulin resistance. And I've talked in many prior videos about how to diagnose insulin resistance and how to reverse insulin resistance naturally. I'll include some links down below. Let's dive right in. Five warning skin signs that you absolutely should know. Number one, skin tags, also known as acrochordans. These are small, soft, flesh-colored growths often found on the neck, eyelids, and armpits. Why do skin tags happen? Well, chronically high insulin levels overstimulate skin growth factors, leading to these benign, usually benign, overgrowths, one of the earliest visible clues of metabolic dysfunction. And it is absolutely extraordinary that large segments of the medical establishment have the attitude, oh, let's just whip the skin tags off without even discussing why they occur. Number two, acanthosis nigricans. This is dark, velvety thickening of the skin in folds like the neck, armpits, and groin. This happens because elevated insulin acts on receptors in the skin that stimulate both keratin and pigment cells, causing these characteristic darkening and thickening that signals insulin resistance. And this is especially common in people with a darker skin complexion. People from Southeast Asia, Indian origin tend to get this a lot if they have budding insulin resistance, but it can occur in basically any skin pigmentation, even people of Northern European descent. So look out for that dark patches on the skin. And because insulin resistance is such a pandemic now, it's happening more and more. Number three, hair loss. This is common in both men and women, especially women with polycystic ovary syndrome, which has a strong link to insulin resistance. And this includes gradual thinning or receding hair, particularly at the crown or temples. And it happens because high insulin increases androgen, male hormone activity which shrinks hair follicles and shortens the growth cycle, resulting in a classic pattern-style hair loss. Number four, oily or acne-prone skin. This includes increased shine, breakouts, or adult acne, especially on the jawline, chest, or back. And it happens because insulin resistance boosts androgen levels again, increasing oil production and clogging pores, creating a perfect storm for persistent acne. Number five, fungal or yeast infections in the skin folds. These are red, itchy, sometimes white rashes in warm, moist areas, such as in the groin, under the breasts, or between the thighs. And it happens because elevated blood sugar feeds candida yeast and weakens the skin's immune barrier, allowing these infections to flourish. In fact, bacterial infections as well, but fungal and yeast infections are particularly common. So those are five very important skin warning signs that I would like you to remember. Number one, skin tags. Number two, acanthosis nigricans, dark velvety thickening of the skin. Number three, hair loss. Number four, oily or acne prone skin. And number five, fungal or yeast infections in skin folds. This is so very important to be aware of because we have such a pandemic nowadays. And I've talked in many prior videos about how to correctly diagnose insulin resistance, including a fasting insulin level to enable calculation of the HOMA IR but there is a very, very strong correlation, probably one of the most strong correlations ever between increased body fat percentage and insulin resistance. So there you go right there. And the way to naturally reverse this, and it can start to happen in a matter of weeks, of course, it takes motivation, determination. There are a lot of negative factors working against anybody nowadays in toxic modern mainstream culture. A lot of things which are pushing you constantly in the wrong direction but everything centers around a whole real food diet, optimizing protein, cutting back on those processed foods, sugars, and carbohydrates, which most people consume in insane quantities, starting moving, even starting with walking, exercising, muscle strengthening, working on any stress in your life, sleeping enough. All of those are the pillars of well-being. So if you or anyone you love has any of these skin signs, it might be time to start thinking seriously about reversing insulin resistance. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you are interested in naturally reversing insulin resistance and holistic fat loss, check in the links down below for my 30-day Kickstarter Met Thrive Method. Got a lot of good reviews so far, and it is specially designed to help anybody 
overcome insulin resistance with the goal, hopefully, of staying well and staying away from the medical industrial complex. But it's all going to be on you. However you choose to do this, if you have insulin resistance, as most people do nowadays, your journey towards better health is centered around improving insulin sensitivity. Nothing is more important than your own determination. All right, everybody, also check in the links down below for my website, all the other work I do, and our natural health and well-being store, ohiwellness.com. If you're in the USA, North America, ohiwellness.co. If you're in the UK, Europe, hit the like button if you like this video, the subscribe button for more similar videos in the future. If you enjoyed this video, you will also enjoy some of my other videos on how to naturally optimize metabolic health. Most of your health and well-being, including your mental health, is in your hands. Take positive steps today. We'll speak again next time.